So, do you uh, you want to take us to the commercial break? Oh, hi, Tori. Hello. Yeah, uh, we're going to take a quick break, come back, and we're going to... Uh, we're gonna oh, make... oh, oh, WrestleMania. Max, you got that song stuck <laughs> in my head, damn it. <laughs> we're going to take a quick break, come back, and then we are going to make our predictions for WrestleMania 33. That's next here on the Elite Ringside Network. What is going on, guys? This is the Loose Cannon, Nate the Effing Great, here to tell you about a great company known as AJsBelts.com. Why are they so great, you ask? Well, let me tell you, they have every single championship belt that you can imagine, from classic championships to modernized championships. Hell, even they do MMA championships. Championship. They have great deals on championship belts, and I know what you're thinking. What if you can't afford them right now? No problem. They have a great layaway program, as well as if you go through PayPal credit, you can get your championship belts right away. AJ's Belts, the proud sponsors of the Squared Circle Podcast. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Spencer Hart from the Elite Ringside Network. Wanted to let you know about some amazing news. You can now listen to all of our great programming on the new Satchel Podcast Player for your Android and iPhones. Here's the deal. While you're listening to us on Satchel, you can send us a few dollars to make all of our amazing shows even better. So if you're listening to us right now on Satchel, go ahead and click on that donate button to send us some much appreciated donations. And if you're not listening to us on Satchel, I mean, come on, what are you doing? Download the podcast player right now at satchelplayer.com. Exclusive friends of the Elite Ringside Network. Ringside Network, uh, NXT TakeOver Orlando, and WrestleMania Prediction Special. WrestleMania 33, the ultimate thrill ride. Honestly, honestly, with the stage, the way it's looking, it's looking pretty awesome. Although, the WrestleMania logo is on, like, what was it, like a Universal Studio? It, yeah, it looks like the Universal, like, globe, like, turning around. It's really cool. It, it's it's very interesting. And now they're finally, they're probably going to finally do it. They're finally going to make the uh, Universal Championship deal where they're just going to do, like, that, you know, blah, blah. The, the whole, like, globe thing. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Copyrighted material. <laughs> <laughs> to, you know, honestly, if they did do that, I would not be, you know, against it. I think it would actually be pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Not like I made, it would be like, oh, hi there. Hello. Hello. So, you know, we have people randomly just popping in and out. Yep. You know it's what? busy here in the studio tonight. It is. But let's just get right into WrestleMania predictions. My, my how much your has changed. I mean, last year you were the... Squared Circle Podcast Heavyweight oh, Champion on Cloud Nine. Yeah, thanks also for that. Also, the guys, the Beatty Club. <sighs> and one year later, we're once again feuding, and with high stakes. I think <coughs> last year was even high stakes, really, because that was just me being some random dude, just being like, "Oh, I will come for your soul." Yeah, I remember that we did that weird. Uh... The, the weird like um, <laughs> like build, build up. We, yeah, we, we arrive, and then you and Max are just like. Uh, did, Who the he fuck just was say, that? did he just say we? And then it just turns out boom, boom. And uh, yeah, I almost gave you a concussion that night. I remember. That. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, well, his face. A concussion right now. one night, and you almost broke my leg at Rumble. Jesus, oh, calm the right. fuck down, Nate. <laughs> I'm a fat that's man. Right. Hey, hey. <laughs> you said it, not me. Oh right. wow. <laughs> All right, let's get into our prediction. All right, so the first thing being on the pre-show, the WrestleMania Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Who we got? <laughs> is that is that Samoa Joe? No, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Braun Strowman. Yeah. Oh. I, I can definitely see why they're really trying to really push him as like the next big thing around here um but i'm going with Sami Zayn. i think it's finally time for him to get there also me and plus he's dedicating it to mcfoley which would be awesome it's probably not going to happen but at the same time it's just one of those things where it's like i'm a wrestling fan let me dream damn it um the next matchup on here what's worried about this is i think they actually got bumped to the main card if i'm not mistaken uh the smackdown six pack uh women's championship matchup that being Alexa Bliss taking on Mickey James, Carmella, Natalia, Naomi, and who was the other? Who's the other? Becky Lynch. Oh my gosh, that is horrible. I'm sorry. I am so sorry, Becky. I, you are a spectacular performer. Come on, ah, puns. We got them. 
Uh, I went with Alexa Bliss. I think that regardless of the fact that Naomi basically... Um, it, the fact that Naomi did come back, it's a great moment, but at the same time, very few times did they actually put the championship belt back on the person that came back from injury. So that's why I was so hesitant about it. Uh, but I will t- tell you this, that uh, do you know who uh, Val picked for this Wednesday? Naomi? No, Mickey James. Really? She, th- she, I was surprised by this, and I'm thinking, you know what? Honestly, I could see Mickey James somehow pulling off the upset. Yeah. But I mean, it's a one in a six chance of us getting it, you know, right. So that's yeah. that's the crazy part about these six pack challenges uh, is that six- there's so many more people, which means it's just oh, it's just agonizing. Yeah. I'm, oh, by the way, Tori, have fun with your prop designs. So. I'm gonna go with the hometown girl. You going with Naomi? I'm going with Naomi. Yeah. Uh, I, I think Naomi's gonna pin Alexa. You think it's gonna be? I think they'll pull the plug on giving Naomi back the title. You're gonna feel the glow. Well, the only glow you're gonna be feeling is your Shut up. beat red <laughs> chest <laughs> from those chaps. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Now we get move on to what seems to be the final matchup of the uh, pre-show. That being, why God, why Austin Aries versus Neville for the Cruiserweight Championship. This match is going to be a barn burner. It's going to be awesome. This is going to be the match of the pre-show. This is going to be the match of the pre-show. Who are you got and why? Hmm. You're going to go with the King of the Cruiserweights. Or the man with the greatest <laughs> package that ever lived. <laughs> a beautiful package. <laughs> uh, For those I, of you that don't know, no, he's not talking about his package. He's talking about the video package. Get your minds out of the gutter. I, and, 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 I do. I do feel weird, kind of going from like one camera to another, but I'm trying to give equal attention here. So I am going to go with. King of the Cluzerweights. Oh. The Cluzerweights. <laughs> I'm going with Neville. Going with I think that Neville is doing wonders for this cruiserweight division right now, and I think that this feud can last honestly until SummerSlam. I agree. That's why I also picked Neville too. I think that right now Austin Aries is still too new to the scene in to, the main roster. Yeah. I think that, you know, they could still definitely do it. Uh, somebody actually suggested the idea of maybe having them feud at payback and putting the title on them then, which I would not be, be okay with. Mm-hmm. I just think that right now, on the big stage, Neville lost his WrestleMania moment last year due to injury, unfortunately. So right now, I would say give him his WrestleMania moment now, and then, you know, Austin Aries, he's still going to be around for at least maybe a few more years. He's got plenty of chances. Yeah. Hell, he might be, you know, an awesome United States Intercontinental Champion. I'd, I'd vote for Austin Aries as IC or US Champ, honestly. you amazing. All right, we go into the main card featuring the Triple Threat Ladder Match for the Tag Team Titles of Raw. That being the club, too sweet, defending against Enzo and Cass. And the Great White North, Cesaro and Sheamus. I swear if you say that word, I am going to rip your ear off. Just say it. Just get it over. <laughs> Cesaro. You did not deserve a double ping. You you get smacked for that. Yeah. Alright, anyway. <laughs> um, I went with Enzo and Cass. I think this right now... The build-up seems right for it. They were talking about doing this ever since probably last year when they debuted. It just makes the most sense right now to put the title belts on him. And honestly, you guys, if they do put the belts on them, I'm happy. And then just put the belts back on the club. The club can make a legitimate claim. Like, hey, you never really did beat us. I mean, it was a ladder match. So freaking what? You never (coughs) beat us. You never made us submit. So have that. Have them go back to being, you know, the shenanigan playing club as they should be. And, you know, have them get the titles. Maybe have Finn Balor win back the Universal title or maybe the U.S. title. I would love to see an original Bullet Club deal. Thank you very much. Um, your thoughts? Who's going to come out on top? I've got the club. You got the club retaining? I've got the club retaining. Um, yeah, I, I really don't have a reason. Um, I, I think that... I just the story doesn't fit putting the belts on Enzo and Cass, to me. Um, I don't know. I, I think that the triple threat match 
was a little unnecessary to me. I think just having Enzo and Cass versus the club would have been fine. I think um, they're just so high on Cesaro and Shane. I know. They, they don't get me that. wrong. The whatever creative genius came up with with uh, Cesaro and Sheamus, um, props to you. But I've got the club retaining. It's going to be close. I mean, mm-hmm. it's either going to be the club or end zone cast. Yeah, I, it's one of those things where we are in agreement with, uh, what was it, the triple threat for the tech, for the tag team titles of NXT. It's like mm-hmm. revival, not going to happen. Yeah. Cesaro and Sheamus, WrestleMania, we'll be surprised if it does happen, but it's just not... Not quite there yet. I think they do need to rebuild Cesaro and Sheamus maybe just a little bit. And then yeah. maybe put him back in the tag. They both need to be either face or heel. They can't be one or the other. Yeah. I mean, they did that with so many other people back in the 90s. And that was cool. But nowadays, people it are more... It doesn't work. It doesn't work to anymore. Me. It really doesn't. All right. Next matchup. The Intercontinental Championship. Baron Corbin taking on Dino. Dean Ambrose. Uh, I'm shocked that this wasn't made into a no DQ match, or especially with that forklift spot. Come on, yeah. Man. I mean, the forklift spots, the mountains. I think they've used chairs at one point too. They've done everything. Um, I'll go first. I'll take Baron Corbin. I'm finally hoping they put a belt on Baron Corbin. I agree. I think that right now, the way they build him up, it's going to go to Baron Corbin. It just seems to make the most sense right now. Yeah. All right, one of the matches that is going to be match of the night, if not the match of the night, that being, I want to make this comment. I love this about uh, the final Adam versus Adam prediction show that they did. Uh, (laughs) The United States Championship, which is ironically being defended in the United States. It's like, oh, wow, I didn't even know that. The irony. (laughs) I would have thought that this would have been defended in Canada, considering it's against two Canadians, damn it. (laughs) Uh, Chris Jericho defending against Kevin Owens. You want to see Uh, it on three? uh, Yep. One, One, two, two three. three. Kevin, Kevin Owens. Owens. Yeah. It's... Sorry, he's leaving for Fozzie. It, that one's that one's ready on the so, wall right there. Somebody made a comment about them, about him maybe doing the uh, tour in May, so maybe he'll keep the title. I could see Jericho holding on to the title for that WrestleMania moment and then dropping it the following night, but right now it just seems obvious that Kevin Owens is getting the belts. Mm-hmm. It just seems that obvious. Yeah, I, I've heard rumors that uh, Kevin Owens is re- or uh, Chris Jericho is returning at Extreme Rules. Uh, which would be the second pay per view after Mania for Raw. Okay, so that'd uh, probably be in June. June. Yeah, yeah, that'd be the one right before SummerSlam, and then you can have the third match at SummerSlam. I would be okay with that. I think that would be pretty awesome. All right, we go on to another matchup that really shakes the boundaries of everything that I hold dearly, and that being the Fatal Four Way Elimination Raw Women's Championship matchup: Bailey defending. Against Nia Jax, the el- Charlotte, the and elimination clause. Sasha, Sasha Banks. Sorry, the elimination clause really throws things for a loop on this one. It, it uh, again, it was one of those things where it's like because I, I, I can I smell something coming, but <clears throat> I'm smelling the Sasha heel turn. I think that out of it, yeah, the Sasha heel turn would probably happen. The problem with me taking a Sasha heel turn in this match is Bailey's going to lose. And I don't want that. I disagree. So I'm um, going to tell you my prediction. My prediction is Bailey. I think she's going to come out victorious. I could see them maybe doing a deal where, you know, it's between. Uh, no, I'm, I'm sticking with Bailey because I think that they'll definitely do either one of two things. They're either going to have. Charlotte versus Bailey as the final two, and that's just going to make it obvious. Or they're going to do Sasha versus Bailey, and something is probably going to happen there. I don't know if they're going to put the belt on Nia just yet. I can see it happening no. the Raw after, but I don't see that happening at WrestleMania. I know a lot of people are just picking Nia Jax, but I just don't see it right now. I'm going to take Bailey as well, and I just thought of something. Okay. Have Bailey pin Sasha for the win. Sasha, Monday night, comes out and kicks the ever-living crap out of her, challenges her to a match for the belt, and wins. Yeah, I, I could definitely Gives see Gives Bailey that. her WrestleMania moment, which she should have won the belt at Mania from Charlotte, but I'm I'm not bitter. <laughs> not um, the least bit. No, not at all. So, yeah, Bailey's going to win. Sasha, the heel turn's coming either at WrestleMania or the, Mania, or the Raw after. Yep. I can see that. Uh, next matchup on the card is Seth Rollins taking on Triple H in a non-sanctioned matchup. Basically, imagine SummerSlam, 
2002, only in Snapshot.